Hi, welcome to Surface Fiberglass. I'm Paul Brattel. Right, so we've got a lovely little boat mould here. What we've done is we've trimmed the edges and cleaned them off to make them nice and smooth. We've also, a good tip, rub, rub the back of the mould with a bit of wet and dry to take away any little spines that you might get in your fingers. Now, also, we've made this uh, shape into a piece of foam because it just helps to hold the mould in place and makes it a lot easier for working with. Okay, so we've waxed the mould seven times and in between each wax we've left it for a couple of hours or so because we need to build up a good wax coat because this is a brand new mould and we don't want any any sticks or as we call we call it sticks sticking in the in, in the trade it's actually when the mould sticks to the moulding and it, as you pull it away it pulls away the, the surface so it's you know it has to be repaired or started again so we really don't want any problems like that right so now we do another wax this will be the eighth wax Plenty on, nice circular motion covering all the area, particularly in the corners. So right into the corners there, right into there. Well, it's pale blue. It says it says smooth blue or something. I've never heard that one. Well, it's pale blue, isn't it? Yeah. So we've, we've now, the mould is ready to go now for gel coating. We've, um, we've finished the wax system, all polished up and ready to go. We've uh, masked off an edge here to give us a clean edge to keep it nice and tidy. Um, we've got the gel coat, the clear gel coat with 10% of light blue pigment and 2% catalyst. So that's ready mixed, ready to go. We want a good thick coat because we're only going to gel this once, it's a moulding rather than a mould. So a nice thick gel coat. Evenly spread. Make sure we get right into the corners. We can gel over the, over the tape, that's not a problem. So we've gel coated the mould. Now, because of the awkward nature of this of this radius on this mould here, what we've done is laminated the flange and brought the, the glass down below um, to, to give us a good edge to work to from there. So that's all been done. We've also green trimmed the edge um, to make it a little bit tidier. Now, very important thing here, a little bit of wet and dry, um, 600 grade is fine. We need to sort of rub, not too harshly, we don't want to go through the, the glass, but just take all the splinters and spines off this glass, because when we get to laminate the inside, that, that those would hold up the next piece of mat. So this has to be done to get a good final laminate finish. So little corners, little spiky bits, so it's nice and smooth, just to prepare it for the next laminate. So resin mixed, we're going to laminate this section here in the hull. So we um, wet out to the gel coat to give the mat a good base to work on. Okay, now a piece of mat, this is 450. We rip the edge so that we get a nice feathered edge to work work into the, the other edge. So take a piece in. Wet out. This top piece will just lay down and become part of it.
don't soak it too much but make sure that all of the mat again is all properly wet out now just to show you we roll the resin through the mat making sure we've got all the air out nicely consolidate again checking for air we finished laminating the boat hull um, it's a good idea when it's gone off to try and green trim to clean up all the edge here so we'll, we'll do that keeping the blade nice and low because you don't want to lift up and either cut yourself or cut into the mould some parts are a little bit harder than others. But you can say it makes it a lot easier to um, to work with afterwards. Always keep your hand in front of the blade. So, we've left the mould for 24 hours to cure off. We've also um, trimmed the edge to get a nice clean surface to the, uh, the mould and the moulding. So that will help it to come out a little bit easier also. Right now we're going to try and release it. So we start with the small wedges. We're going to try one of the corners. like so try on this side if you use plastic wedges rather than a, a scraper then there's a good chance you won't won't damage the mold right let's have a go at the front see how, how we get on there in a minute yeah so we're releasing around here so That's coming away nicely. Let's just try pushing a bit further now. Give it a bit of persuasion at the front. Hey, there we go. One released boat hull. Now what we'll do, because this is, the flange is too big here, we're going to trim this flange right back, all the way round, so that um, it gives us a, a nice shape to, um, to carry on working from. <laughs> 